here at CX we're often asked how much should you spend on a particular piece of gear in order to get the right result. Everything. Drum kits. Okay, let's, let's not, every, to not, drum kits. not everything. Well, no. if you if you got a budget, obviously you need to allocate a certain amount. I, I've spent probably a bit over two grand on drum mics. Which is a lot of money. Which is a lot of money. And you've done that because you wanted to get particular sort of sound? Yeah, yeah. So when somebody comes along with a kit and says, look, here's seven mics in a box, 700 bucks, what's your reaction? My reaction is how good can it be? So how good can it be? Uh, in the case of the Audix FP7, it's pretty good. Okay, what did yeah. you find? Um, well, I opened the box and found that it had you know, everything I needed to mic up a kit short of stands. Um, and probably the, the big winning feature for, for novice users is this, which is the included how to mic up a drum kit for dummies cheat sheet. And this is, this is great. Okay. This is, this, is, this is a really, really nicely optimized little piece of literature which is going to be really helpful for a lot of people. All right, let's come back to that in a minute. Look at uh, what's in the box as delivered. Okay, what's in the box as delivered? You get a kick drum mic, a snare mic, three tom mics, mm. and two condensers. And you also get with those the clips that are optimized? Yeah, you get these. These are D-clips, they're called. They're, they're a bit of an improvement on the old ones, which are a bit brittle. These are nice and sort of flexible, but they will actually hold the mic in place. Yeah, and I must say, I, I like the fact that you know, these knurled knobs and, and the fact that they feel like they are not going to break easily. Yeah. They're really decent plastic. Oh, no, it was the first thing I checked. I tried yeah. to break one. Um, <laughs> Failed. Excellent. So, oh, I failed, not, Selling not point. the clip. Yeah. Okay. So it's um, look for for the money. I think it's great value. I obviously, it's hard to know what something like this is going to be like without actually having heard it. So, okay. So what so, did you do? Well, I called up my mate Mike and said, "Hey, Mike, bring your drums around." Okay. Um, so he did, and he put them here, and I put some mics on them, and uh, we recorded this. So that's Mike playing some drums, and, and I've got to tell you a bit about the recording. We didn't mm. actually spend very much time on positioning, and there is no EQ on any of that. That's just straight, flat, out of the box mics, pretty much as you hear them. So it was really showing what the what the Audix set can do. Did anything in particular stick out? Um, yeah, look, the the condensers I think have been clearly optimized for use on a on a drum set. Mm. Um, some of, I find when I'm miking up drums, some of my condensers are a bit hot on some consoles if there's no pads in line. Yeah. Um, that wasn't a problem with these. So they're so, lower output. Yeah, they're lower output, which means you're going to have a bit more of a noise floor if you, if you go using them on other stuff. Mm. So the condensers I'd, I'd probably stick to just using on drums. Um, that said, the other mics are, are quite versatile and you could conceivably use them on an array of instruments that weren't just a drum kit. Yeah, they come up particularly well in a lot of reviews and it's really a value for money proposition. They're certainly worth checking out. Yeah, look, nice weight, nice feel, easy to use um, and great if you're budget conscious.